okay before starting the new topic just recall that what you have done previously because your this topic is also connected with the sessions which you have already done the basic terms which we have learned in the geometry we start with the point what is point in geometry the point will tell you the location the the point will tell you that from where you have to take the start and then after joining these points together you get a line and there are some types of lines in which you have learned about the straight line now what is a straight line straight line is something which goes on and on in both of the directions without changing its direction and that's why it is represented with the arrow heads on both of the ends and then if what i am going to do if i am going to cut this line segment from two parts like i have done it over here when i am going to cut this line segment from the two parts then the distance between this cutting is known as line segment which you have made it in your copies as well it's look like this and you know it very well children that how the line segment is labeled it will be labeled by putting the end points on both of the direct on both of the ends why we are putting this end points on both of the ends because it means that it cannot move further it cannot extend further this end points is the full stop and it shows that line segment is something which cannot move further on either direction now when we cut the straight line from two parts this cutted part is known as a line segment but what about this part which have a ray sorry which have a arrow on one side and the other side we have in lines uh, we have a point this part has a special name as well it is known as ray it's look like this now for today's topic we have to take this ray actually we need two rays what what we are going to do now i'm going to take two rays and i'm going to join them by sharing one common end point over here i can draw it like this or in any of the direction what i did i joined two rays together sharing one common end point this point now what we call this diagram i'm going to explain this with the help of a flip chart okay now look at over here children there is a diagram present in front of you what i did i did the same that i'm going to take two rays which like this two rays and i'm going to join them by sharing one common end point this one common end point has a special name we call it vertex v e r t e x vertex this point this point is known as vertex because over here we are joining these two rays together now after joining these two rays together they also have a special name now they are known as arm a r m arm arm number 1 and this is arm number 2 now what we are going to do we are going to move these arms together but make sure we are going to move in such a way that they that they will be joined over here on vertex after moving these arms there will be some movement in between there will be some rotation in between or there will be some uh, distance created in these two arms this movement this rotation will be sh will be shown by this arrow and this rotation has a special name it is known as angle so we can say that an angle is formed when an arm rotates from an initial position to a final position first of all this was my initial position and when i have started moving the second arm this will be my second position final position and the distance created between these two arms is known as an angle 